everyone to the 12 Beers of Christmas brought to you by Mark and 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 the Hophead Social Club uh, also known as the Bikes and Beers crew coming to you live from my basement yes. uh, bringing you all the beers to bring the cheers yes to place under the tree to place under the tree for the craft beer lovers in in you and your family yes good times so we've done quite a few of these already not sure how many, but we're going to continue on. Cool. Yeah. What day are we on? What day? <laughs> what day? They all blur yeah. into another, right? But today we're going to do one of my faves. Yes. And uh, as you might be able to tell, because I'm cheating and wearing their T-shirt, a uh, new brewery opened up uh, last year around this time. I think about it's about a year and a, yeah, maybe a few weeks old. Uh, the Furnace Room Brewery out of Georgetown, my hometown. Uh, Got to like it. Big shout out to them. Brewing some great beers. We recently just did a craft beer dinner with them as well uh, at our uh, friends at Paradiso. And uh, we did a four course meal paired with four of their different beers. It went over very well. Um, yeah, it was amazing. It was, eh? The food yeah, was great. Was, the beers were, were phenomenal. Yeah. And Chef Adam actually incorporates the beer into the recipe as well. So the pairings, the food, it was, uh, it was phenomenal. Yeah. It was very good. Good experience all around, and the, the guys at Furnace Room are uh, phenomenal to uh, work with and deal with too. So, huge shout out to those guys there. Yep. Uh, Mike, uh, Big Daddy G, hey, because he had the big G on his shirt, hey. Eh? <laughs> that's what we'll call him. Eh? Okay. Mike, Big Daddy <laughs> big G. Big Daddy G. Uh, he uh, he presented at the the beer dinners on behalf of the brewery, which was pretty cool. Yep. Good guy. Yeah. So. So without uh, further ado, let's get into drinking this baby. This all is. Right. Uh, the neat thing about uh, the first room is they've got a lot of unique names for their beers and actually has meaning with uh, the town of Georgetown, which is, again, where I grew up. And you ready for this? Make sure you pick the right beer. Dun, 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 okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So, so there we have it. Yeah, which one is this? This is Chicken Man. <laughs> <laughs> Even see a picture of the guy riding his bike with the chicken in the basket. Yeah, so, you know, some of you might say, oh, it's just kind of a graphic. They're just kind of playing with it. They're just calling yeah. it the chicken man. But this is actually a real guy. It it's is. a true story. So if uh, you grew up in Georgetown, you knew of the chicken man. And he seriously did ride around the, uh, the town with a chicken in his basket. The Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> well, they didn't make it that far. Wow. At least I never know. <laughs> so, uh, you want me to read the can? Yes, please. Okay. So, the Chicken Man by Furnace Room. It's a 5.4% alcohol beer. Uh, well, here's the story about the pit. Well, we'll get to that in a second, actually. Just hang on a sec here. Do, 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 do. All right. We're going to get to this right now. Uh, chicken Man Pale Ale. So it's pedaling his bike throughout Georgetown with his trusty pet chicken. Everyone has their pets. Uh, the chicken man, as he was known, has become an iconic to the residents of Georgetown. Although his identity is uncertain and his whereabouts are unknown, his legend lives on. Make the trip to Georgetown and ask the locals what they know of him, or just enjoy our pale ale in his honor. So a great beer dedicated to the chicken man, and like I said, I grew up with him. Uh, the beer is... Uh, Beer is amazing, actually. It is very good beer. I hey? like it. Yep. It's one of my faves. I don't even have to try it to tell oh, I like I, it. But well, we can save this can try can, No. Uh, no. I think we should try it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's crack this open. Andy wants first. Yes, please. So, you, what, you got the That's color. Good. Oh, sorry, you, sir. Yeah, I'm going to keep you on low profile. Well, you always put more in my glass or something. Yeah. Because you can handle your beer I'm better. sure why. That's why. Fine looking beer. Very nice golden hue. Yep. Very clear. Well, fairly, yep. Fairly clear. Nice aroma. Yep. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> oh, it's good. <clears throat> Very refreshing. Yeah, so this is another one of those pale ales. Yeah. In my, in my mind, anyways, that if you're not a craft beer drinker, or you, you haven't been to date, it's not hard on the palate. No, not at all. It's very easy drinking pale ale. So, like, you know, if you hear the word pale ale, you don't have to freak out. This is actually a good intro beer into the craft beer world. Yeah, it has some <clears> nice <throat> uh, multi flavors in yeah. there. Yeah. A bit of 
caramel. Yeah, you can taste well. it, eh? Yes. Did okay. you read the notes on this? No, I did not. Oh, neither did I. But we've, we've had it. Yeah. Oh. They're on their website. Oh. Oh. Weren't you supposed to do that? No. Oh. We've just had enough chicken, uh, chicken pan to help us. <laughs> chicken <laughs> man. Oh, chicken man. man. Very delicious. Uh -huh. So, <clears throat> at the dinner there, we paired this one, I, th I believe it was with the deconstructed chili, right? Yeah, it was. So definitely uh, uh, chili, deconstructed chili, whatever you want to call it, went very well with this beer. Yeah, mild spice. Yeah. Nothing too heavy on the spice with this this beer. But it, it could would overpower the, the, the multi flavors. Yeah. But if you tone it down a little bit with your spice. Yeah. More uh, herbs. More complimentary versus... Uh, yeah, more, more herb than um, like pepper. Pepper? Yeah, so... Pepper? Pepper. Like paprika, cayenne. If you do use that, just just a touch. Yeah. You don't want too much because it's going to overpower the beer. Yeah, so you don't want it super hot and spicy. Just no, but just mild. nice, nice mild spice, mild, and that'll yeah. bring out the flavors a lot more. Yeah, I agree with you there. I don't think you want to fight the beer. You don't want to fight no. the food, right? Yeah, exactly. You want yeah. it, you want it to match. Yeah. To so gel. Well, if, no. we're making Jello, are we? Oh, chicken man, pale ale Jello. <laughs> Mm, mm. Mm. I'll have to try that. Uh, this beer is great uh, as well uh, for those types of beers. You go over to friends and family, you want to take a six pack, definitely good for that. You can certainly drink six of these, no problem. Not super heavy, not super bold, but not that kind of crap beer where you're going to kind of like, oh, I've had enough of this after one or two. But definitely an all night drinker. Yeah, it's good. Very delicious. Yeah. So, I don't know, uh, you got anything else to kind of say? Like, uh, obviously, I think we give it a two thumbs up. Yeah, definitely two thumbs up on this one. Uh, <clears throat> can in the stocking, case under the tree. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I think the other thing, um, uh, just to encourage you guys too, especially if uh, a lot of you people that know me and know me that I'm from Georgetown, and I'm sure most of you have already checked it out, but if you haven't, please check them yeah. out. Uh, great little brewery right by the GO train station there in Georgetown. They've done a great job in there. They've got a lot of good live events going on there, too. And I know that they're uh, looking at, they've got some food coming in, I believe, through yeah. uh, local restaurant or food trucks. So, so they are growing. <clears throat> they are growing. They're they're they've better. grown tons in the yeah. year that they've been open. So uh, congrats to the first room guys for sure. Great beer. Keep doing uh, what you're doing. Uh, there's lots of other uh, types of beers as well, which is important. I think they've got about six or eight different ones yeah. right now. So definitely lots of selection as well. Yeah. All right. So get out there, try the Chicken Man Pale Ale, learn about the Chicken Man, because uh, there is a story behind it. So, you know, you're now you're drinking a beer that's part of the heritage of the town. All their beers have a, have yeah, a they story are. behind yeah. them. That's for sure. Which is cool. 10-4. Well, All right. thanks for joining us. Like us on Facebook, like the video, share it with your friends and family, uh, and then obviously share the, uh, the beer as well. Absolutely. All Sounds right. good. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas.